everybody. Today is about probability distributions. Okay, first we will look at the introduction. What is the random variables? So this one based on quantities which can take on different values depending on chance. For example, number of persons visiting KLCC each month and the length of leaf of a certain tree. There are two types of random variable. So first one is discrete random variable. Second one is continuous random variable. First, we focus on discrete random variable. Okay, at the end of this session, you will be able to identify whether an event is a discrete or not. And second is you can compute probabilities associated with the distribution. Number three, you can calculate the mean and variance. And last one, you can apply the properties of mean and variance. Okay, first look at what is the discrete random variable. So this variable has exact numerical values obtained by the process of counting. So normally we count 1, 2, 3 and so on. For example, number of students in the library at a certain hour. Second example, number of cars passing a certain junction. And third example, number of students getting an A in statistics exam. So this one based on number means by the process of counting. First example, a fair coin is tossed three times. Suppose the variable x is defined to be the number of times h occurs. So what is h? H represent hat. Construct a probability distribution for x and then show that x is a discrete random variable. So how to construct a probability distribution for x? Recall back, what is the experiment? So experiment here is a fair coin is tossed three times. So you may construct three diagram to obtain the sample space. And then what is the sample space? Recall back, sample space is a list of all possible outcome. So from the three diagram, this is all the possible outcomes from the experiment. Then recall back what is the X, the number of times H occurs. So based on the sample space, X may be zero or maybe one or two or three. Why zero? Based on this outcome, T, T, T means no H. Then, from the sample space, you may construct the probability distribution of X using this basic concept, NA over NS. So, let's say A represents X equal to 0 here. When X equal to 0 means no H. So, no H based on T, T, T. 1. Outcome. And then, N, S. What is the N, S? Total of possible outcome. How many outcome? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, N, S equal to 8. Based on all possible outcomes. Therefore, probability of x equal to 0 is 1 over 8. Then, show that either x is a discrete or not. Back to basic concept. Add up all the probability values. At the end, you got summation equal to 1. Therefore, X is a discrete random variable. Okay, we proceed to example 2. Given that X is a random variable with probability distribution as given below. First question, show that X is a discrete random variable. So, back to basic concept. Sum of probability value here must be equal to 1. So, you plus all the probability values, 
0.2 plus 0.35 plus 0.3 and then plus 0.15 equal to 1. Therefore, x is a discrete random variable. Second question. Find the probability that x is less than 4. So, less than 4 means u plus 0 and 2. Therefore, probability that x is less than 4 equal to 0 0.55. Same example. Proceed to C. Find the probability that x is greater than 4. So, this one starting is 5. So, based on the table, greater than 4 means x equal to 6. Therefore, probability that x is greater than 4 equal to 0 0.15. Okay. Next, find the probability that x is at least 4. So, at least 4 means minimum value is 4. So, based on the table, the answer is probability of x equal to 4 plus probability of x equal to 6. Final answer is 0 0.45. Okay, E. Find the probability that x not more than 2. So, not more than 2 here means the maximum value is 2. So, x equal to 0 plus x equal to 2. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.55. And last one, for example 2. Find the probability that x is between 1 and 5. So, between 1 and 5 means the value is x equal to 2 plus x equal to 4. Therefore, final answer is equal to 0 0.65. Okay hey guys, we proceed to third example. Given that the discrete random variable of y and the probability distribution as given below, then let's say you need to calculate probability of y exactly 2. So, how to solve this question? Easy if you construct the table. Using the value of y, 0, 2, 4, and 6, substitute and then construct the table. After you got the probability distribution of y, you may answer the question easily. Okay, so find answer if y Exactly 2 equal to 10 over 36. Or you may simplify the answer which is 5 over 18. Okay then, second question. How to solve y at least 2? So y at least 2 here. Maybe 2 or 4 or 6. Substitute and then find answer equal to 2 over 3. And last question for example 3, y more than 2, which is 4 and 6. Therefore, find answer equal to 7 over 18. Okay, we proceed to example 4. The random variable x has the following probability distribution. So this one, if x equal to 2, 3 and 5, you will use this function x over 2k. Meanwhile, if your x equal to 7, 8 and 10, you will use this function x over 5k. So, if you need to find the value of k, recall back basic concept of probability, which is summation of probability value must be equal to 1. But first, Easy if you construct table like this. Substitute each value of x into the function. Okay, then add up all the probability values here equal to 1. And then solve the equation. At the end, you got k equal to 10. 
Then after you got the value of k, you must check either your value is correct or wrong. You may substitute k equal to 10 here. 10, 10, 10, and 10. And up at the end, if you got equal to 1, means that your k equal to 10 is correct. Okay then, let's say you need to find this question based on the table. At the end, find an answer based on the given question equal to 11 over 20. Okay, after you calculate probability values, then you may calculate expected value. So, expected value known as mean or average. So, this one is based on a random variable of x. So, expected value denoted by Ex here. So, this is the formula to calculate expected value. You must remember this formula. So, this one properties of the expected value. You may also remember these properties. And then, second formula here. To find expected value of x squared. Okay, proceed to example 5. Find the expected value of x. So, Based on the table, substitute value of x and probability of each value of x. At the end, you got ex equal to 2. Second question, find expected of 4x. So this one, we just use properties of expected value. 4 just bring to left side of E. Therefore, E for X equal to 8. Third, find E X squared. So, you may use this formula to calculate the value of expected of E X squared. And then, find answer equal to 6.7. Same probability distribution function. Let's say you need to calculate expected 2x squared. Using properties, substitute the value of 6.7, which is expected value of x squared, and then find the answer equal to 13.4. Next, E, you need to find expected of 3x plus 2. Using properties, at the end, you got 8. And then F, find expected of 2x minus 3. Using properties, you got, find answer equal to 1. And then last question, find this question. Using properties, you got find answer equal to 3.7. So this one, you may solve the question based on the properties. After you calculate expected value of x and expected value of x squared. Okay, after you calculate mean or expected value of x, you may also calculate variance. So, the variance of a discrete random variable x is given by this formula. You must remember this formula. And then also the properties of the variance. Okay, look at this example 6. First question, find expected value of x. Using this formula, substitute. At the end, you got ex equal to 2.7. Then, second question, find variance of x. You need to calculate 
expected value of x squared using this formula and then you got final answer equal to 9.3 but aim of the question you need to find variance of x so using this formula substitute at the end variance of x equal to 2.01 and then proceed to C. Find expected 2x plus 3. Using properties, substitute and then at the end equal to 8.4. Continue for example 6. Question D and E. Okay, first. Question D. Find variance of 3 minus 4x. So using these properties substitute and then find the answer you got 32.16 okay then question e find variance of 2x minus y given that variance of y equal to 2 so this one you have two variables which are x and y so you may use these properties Substitute variance of x and y. At the end, you got fun answer is 6.02. Okay, guys, hands on session. You may try first question and then second question. Then you may also check your final answer for each question. Okay, that's all for today for part 1 which is discrete random variable and then next session we may proceed to continuous random variable. Assalamualaikum and da.